Central Asia is located in the heart of the Eurasian continent and was part of the ancient Silk Road. It boasts a rich cultural heritage and ethnic diversity. Love of the World Cultural Goodwill Group, which has long been dedicated to promoting peace, sustainability, and cultural heritage, embarked on a visit to five countries Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, and Tajikistan. From August 6 to August 21st, led by Dr. Hong Daozi, Zhang Menren of Taijiman, and President of the Federation of World Peace and Love, the group of 37 members promoted a cultural peace with loving conscience through cultural exchanges, performances, and the bell ringing ceremony. The Dutch ambassador to the five Central Asian countries and the former Uzbek parliamentarian and current executive director of the Development Strategy Center each ring the bell of world peace and love, praying for peace in the world. Peace is uh, very important for the whole world. That's why your mission to try to bring peace and uh, love in the world is very much important. Uh, that's why uh, we were happy to contribute and uh, ring the bell for the peace and love in the world. But we really appreciate it. Thank you. The Cultural Goodwill Group also visited the Nasultan Nazarbayev Foundation in Kazakhstan, the National Palace of Tajikistan, Almaty Management University, as well as various museums, religious, and cultural centers in different countries to engage in cultural exchanges. Dr. Hong also presented commemorative gifts such as the Conscience Compass and the special edition of the International Day of Conscience. The Conscience Compass symbolizes the guidance towards a bright path in life, reminding people to cherish time and do good deeds in their daily lives. Love, peace and conscience is what we need. Uh, everyone, in, oh, actually in Tajikistan, Mr. Tao Tse was so kind with us, a lot of good words. He was saying in uh, around of our museum, around of Tajiks, around of, especially around of uh, culture and love. So we are happy and we hope it's, it's not the last time that Mr. Tao Tse visiting our museum. I am very glad to see Dr. Home in our palace. We are very glad. A group of people here with very beautiful song, beautiful minutes was in our life in this palace when I listen to you songs. Today, really, unusually day. Unusual day because of the, we learn so many uh, things. We listen to your president. We learn so many things and we find out that is the, uh, to spread uh, peace in the world is really great, great job. Great job and uh, uh, thank you for you. Thank you for your job. That's, uh, because the, uh, the peace in the world is very important. Yes. As, and if it's the peace in the world, everything will be good. That's why all everybody, I think, uh, dreams to get peace in the world. And that's why really so many thanks for your job. So what you're doing is a great and noble thing. And uh, knowing the master for me now, it's a, um, I wouldn't say like just an honor, but it's um, beyond that, because to know this or to meet this kind of people is a rare thing in the world, like these days. So I do wish a prosperous future for all of you for, because I know that it's a volunteering uh, part from your side, it goes from your heart, and um, whatever goes from our heart, it gets the other people's heart too. Over the years, Dr. Hong has led the cultural goodwill group around the globe, actively promoting world peace. To date, the group has visited 109 countries, marking a historic milestone that symbolizes a global consensus of love and conscience. This milestone also guides the humanity towards new opportunities for sustainable developments. Amy Pons and Lina Liu, Central Asia.